What's up, JRD Nation? Today we are doing a jump rope workout for basketball players. What's going on, JRD Nation? I am Dan Whitmer. This is the Jump Rope Dudes, where we help you jump rope, get lean, and live more. Today's video we wanted to make just because I personally have been playing a ton of basketball and like we always say here at the Jump Rope Dudes, we're always encouraging you guys to move your body and burn calories in ways that you love. So, me personally, I played a little ball in high school, middle school, even elementary school. I've continued to play and I've picked up playing and have been doing it more lately so I figured why don't we combine jump rope and basketball. Now this workout is ideal if you are actually a basketball player because we're going to be doing a lot of very quick jumping and things that are going to be good for you if you're in an actual basketball game. But this also is helpful if you're a soccer player, if you're a football player, or if you're just someone who works a regular 40 hour week. So grab your jump ropes if you need a jump rope. The one that we use in all of our videos is linked up down below. Now today I'm going to be using the quarter pound from cross rope and the three quarter pound from cross rope. Like I said, uh, those are linked up in the description for 10% off and or do the thing at checkout. Lastly guys, merch. We got merch. So if you want a Jump Rope Dudes t-shirt, we got a couple different designs. Check those out in the link below as well. And by the time this video is being posted, we will be in New York City. So we're in New York City right now. Like we just left on a plane today and now we're there. And if you want to go to the meetup in London, that's November 3rd. It's a Saturday. Sunday we're going to be in Amsterdam. That's November 4th. RSVP to those meetups right here. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into this workout. All right, Jarity Nation, so we're gonna start things off with a little bit of jump rope. Just follow along with me. I'm doing run in place here, but then I do some crisscrosses. I do a bunch of stuff. The point of this workout is to have fun and go at your max intensity, okay? If you can't do some of the tricks I'm doing, that's totally fine. Just default to regular bounce. All right, go ahead and rest, guys. Take this time to put the ropes down, uh, get your basketball. I should, I should have mentioned in the intro, you do need to be at a basketball court in order for this to work. But the next drill we're doing here is layups, and I actually got this from playing basketball in high school. So what you're doing is you're just doing right-handed and left-handed layups, but the point of this exercise is to not let the ball touch the ground. So as soon as it goes through the hoop, just take it and put it right back up. And so the idea of this, and for a lot of these moves, is explosiveness. Pick up the three quarter pound rope and get ready to get after it again, guys. So these ropes, like I mentioned, if you want the get lean set, which is the set of jump ropes that we promote in most of our workouts, that's linked in the description below. Just enter do the thing at checkout for 10% off. Um, so I'm using one of those ropes, which is the one I'm not using currently in this video. That's the three quarter pound rope that I am using. That's linked up below separately, but the jump rope I'm not using is part of the get lean set from cross rope. That's the one that we use the most often, or you see us using the most often, but anyway, Anyway, all those ropes are linked up so you can check them out next up guys we are doing just some shorter shots from where the little rectangles would be on a basketball court usually so just quick nice and easy and don't worry about messing up I miss a ton of shots here so it's not really about that it's more about just moving your body and enjoying the process of doing that Good guys, and challenge yourselves too. Try to see how many you can get uh, within the allotted 30 seconds. Try and see if you can speed up a little bit and uh, every time you do this workout, beat yourself. All right guys, here we go again with the 
quarter pound rope and we're just getting after it doing some running in place I think I do mostly running in place because I just want the rope spinning fast for me I'm all about fun and efficiency so I'm already having fun because I'm on the basketball court and I'm jumping rope which I really enjoy but then efficiency I go very hard because I want to be intense and I want to get the result in the least amount of time so that I can focus my other attention on doing things that I really you know just other things that I care about in my life All right, guys, now we're doing layups from the left and right corner, excuse me, of the foul line. So I'm a little bit taller, so it's a little easier for me to just take one dribble and go in. If you need to do two, that's totally fine. Um, but what you're working on here, guys, is getting to the basket as fast as you can. And everything we're doing in this workout is focused on agility and explosiveness. So this is a really great workout. I know it'll definitely help my basketball players out there who are looking to increase their vertical leap or just their speed on the court and a, a ability to change direction, um, which also is a really cool thing about jump rope that it's great for the sport of basketball itself. So I feel like I'm more agile and able to move around uh, because I've, because I've uh, jump rope for so long. All right, back to the three quarter pound rope. And then we're going to finish up with uh, just some one dribble and shooting types of moves. Good guys. And you can see here, so my beginners, I want you to repeat this. I want you to complete this circuit a total of like three to four times. My advanced people, people who've been around for a long time, do this circuit five times. As you can see, it's only I'm only done with the first one here and I'm already pretty tired and sweaty. Um, this is a very challenging workout. All the workouts you're going to see on this channel are challenging because honestly, like, don't waste your time, you know, get the result, get intense, get the result. Last one here, we are doing jump shots where you just take one dribble and shoot. And that's how we'll finish things up guys. So my beginners out there rest for one minute after the circuit's done, repeat it another two to three times for a total of like three or four. And my more advanced people rest a minute and complete this a total of five times or repeating it another four. However you want to say that, you know what I mean. 